the Indian Association of Structural Engineers, also known as IS Struct E, was conceptualized and constituted in the year 2002 by a group of senior professional structural engineers from all over the country. IS Structi is registered under the Society's Registration Act 21 of 1860. IS is a national apex body of structural engineers in India with a mission to promote structural engineering profession and cater to the professional needs of the structural fraternity. In the short span of two decades, association has attained an eminent position in the professional field. Its membership is valued very highly in the profession. Since inception, IAS Structi has been led by eminent structural engineers like late Sri Mahindra Raj, late Sri Sri Kumar Ghosh, Sri Subhash Chand Mehrotra, Professor Mahesh Tandran, Sri Alok Bhomik, Sri Manoj Mittal, and Professor R. Pradeep Kumar as its president. IA Structi is a permanent member of Engineering Council of India and interacts with the government on professional and policy matters related to civil and structural engineers. To expand its reach, IA Structi has collaboration with various international professional like-minded associations and institutions. IA Structi's prime objective is supporting and protecting the profession of structural engineering by upholding professional standards and acting as a mouthpiece for structural engineers in India. IAS Structi endeavor to ensure that its members develop the necessary skill in structural engineering and work to the highest standards by maintaining a commitment to professional ethics and standards. IA Struct is actively engaged in organizing several continuing professional development CPD courses for structural engineers to help them update their knowledge and advance their career paths. It also conducts refresher courses for young and practicing engineers and student-oriented programs, seminars, workshops, conferences, technical lectures and discussions related to the latest technological advancements and case studies are also organized regularly for members to enable them to continuously update their knowledge and skill set by interacting with the best minds from the industry. IAS Structi's activities are widely appreciated and known for quality technical contents. IA Structi is also actively engaged in publishing its quarterly journal Structural Engineering Digest SED, code commentaries, professional guidelines and a monthly newsletter. IA Structi's publications are becoming popular with time. IA Structi has representation in various technical committees of BIS and IRC as well. Its members are actively contributing to National Code of Formulations in the year 2020, IA Structi started national awards competition to stimulate interest in the structural engineering field and to promote innovative thinking and creativity. The awards are presented to the winners in recognition of their outstanding contribution to structural engineering in the categories which include Outstanding Structure, Outstanding Structural Engineer, Outstanding Woman Structural Engineer, Promising Young Structural Engineer and Best Master's Thesis in Structural Engineering. IA Struct E is currently operating from four regional centers namely Eastern, Western, Northern and Southern having its headquarters in Delhi to inculcate the professional culture and provide handholding to the budding engineers. IA Structi has its student chapters in several leading engineering institutions as well. Membership of IA Structi is open to all civil and structural engineers engaged in structural engineering profession. Members are elected based on their qualifications and experience in different grades as per eligibility requirements prescribed in the bylaws. Each application is carefully scrutinized before electing the members. More information about IA Struct E is available on its website www.iastructe.co.in. Uh, yes, Vikas, let me know yes, when sir, I start. to start. Uh, my voice is audible? Yes, sir. Oh, okay.
डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर अटेंडिंग द वेबिनार टूडे वी आर नई सच वेबिनार एवरी मंथ Uh, this is for the information now for the newcomers uh, who have come for the first time we are thankful to the speakers madam kushbu devda and dr abhay gupta for sharing their knowledge and experience uh, for the benefit of all the young seniors by giving talk on the topic uh, the topic of uh, today is uh 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 in the new tallest jump uh, bungee uh, jump tower at shivpuri rishikesh uh bungee jump tower is a recreation activity that involves head first jumping from a tail structure with with the electric cord attached to the participants feet now a uh, brief introduction of our speaker the first one is madam kushbu davda she graduated from bombay university in uh, 2012 and further pursued her masters in architecture from university school of design and engineering in barcelona she is a practicing architect and founder principal and partner at parametric home studio emergence and then uh, regarding dr abhay gupta he graduated in civil engineering from uh, shri uh, gobind ram sena institute of technology and science in dot and further pursued his masters in structure from the same institute he is having long experience of over 40 years in research uh, with several academic institutes from 1984 to 2007 during this period he took study leave and did his phd also from iit roorkee in 1996 thereafter he, he has been working Uh, in the institute and became professor and he worked uh, there till 2007 thereafter he, he has been working as consultant uh, and engaged in design and construction of various bonds he is fellow member of institution of engineers fellow member of society Member of uh, Indian Road Congress, member of Indian Society of Indian Engineering, member of Indian Society of Earthquake Engineering, and is uh, associated with many more professional uh, bodies. At present, Dr. Abhay Gupta is director working with Skelton Construction Private Limited. Now, regarding brief of the topic. as uh, 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 mentioned bangli in the rishikesh is india's tallest bungee jumping facility situated at shipur just 17 kilometers from rishikesh uh, in uttarakhand which is a home to one of the highest bungee platform in the country is the uh, Candy Lear platform built over an iron cliff or looking a rocky river hill, which is a tributary of River Ganga. Total height of the structure is 5 meters, with a 25 meter long candy lear boom for jump at height of 63 meters above ground level, with a total jump height of 107 meters. Now I request both the speakers. to share their knowledge and start talking on the subject thank you thank you so much dawan sir uh, khushboo to start with please yes um 
I will start with the architecture part of the presentation and then let Dr. Abhay Gupta continue with the structure part. So, um, first of all, I would uh, like to say that it has been a wonderful experience with uh, working with uh, Dr. Abhay Gupta on this project and his team. Um, this is a very beautiful site that we got in uh, Shivpuri near Rishikesh. Uh, where, which is, of course, you as you know, Shivpuri and Rishikesh are upcoming as the adventure sports and um, uh, fully tourism um, uh, city because uh, there's a lot of different kind of tourists coming now. It's not only pilgrims, there are also meditation uh, and yoga tourists. And uh, of course, pilgrims have been coming for a while. And uh, now there's also adventure sports enthusiasts because uh, there's a lot of different kinds of water sports, um, bungee jumping, giant swings and all these kind of activities apart from the smaller activities like paintball and all of that coming up in this location. So there are a lot of young uh, people also flocking uh, Rishikesh now. Um, we got this beautiful site on the top of a mountain which is overlooking the Ganga, which you saw. Uh, this was the first day when we visited the site, the video on you, you see on your left. And then on the right, you see uh, the video which we have also imagined uh, the structure to be uh, like. So this was, you know, pretty much the, our initial discussions on when uh, me and Dr. Gupta were thinking of what kind of structure, what would be the length of the boom, etc. And uh, this was us on site. You can see uh, Dr. Gupta also standing over here while I was taking the video. So it's a very beautiful site uh, located on a, um, uh, you know, like a top of the uh, small hillock. And of course, you can imagine that, uh, you know, having uh, such a tall structure, such a huge structure on the top of the hillock, there will be various uh, issues also with coming to, you know, soil retaining. We'll have to create retaining walls to make sure the structure is uh, stable. Um, we also have to consider about the landslides because the area is really prone to uh, really... Um, dense, uh, uh, you know, uh, rainfall and a lot of uh, landslides also. Um, you can see this, this was our land allocated to us. Um, of course, it's densely populated with trees and um, the main plateau which was created for the tower um, had already had some structures which we had to uh, uh, relocate on some other areas. Uh, the main bungee tower, as you can see, has a uh, we have what we have planned and executed is a really long boom which can go on to the landing area, which is on the bottom of the um, um, hillock. So uh, I think at the end, after a lot of consideration and deliberations, the boom length has come to more than 25 meters, and uh, it is one of the most uh, you know iconic structures that uh, you can see from the entire entirety of Rishikesh, even while you are. Um, very far away near the Ganga, you will be able to spot the really tall white colored tower, uh, which you with a with a really tall with a really long boom, uh, which is the bungee boom. Um, of course, we have also planned since we are creating such a huge tower, we wanted to have some mixed use also. So we have created one giant swing. Uh, you must have seen this giant swing uh, in videos of Bali, or if you've been there which you know the swing actually goes on into infinity into uh, like a valley sort of a place so this is what we've created like a similar kind of a uh, uh, experience where the giant swing actually goes very close to uh, the top of the ganga so it's a very beautiful uh, experience that you can get in rishikesh for that behind the uh, bungee boom tower we had to give us giant swing tower to really prop the entire thing and of course, there's a landing area, which you can see. I hope you can see my cursor. Uh, please let me know if you can't. And of course, uh, as any um, adventure sports arena goes, you have to give, you know, other ancillary facilities for the uh, passengers, which is cafeteria, some parking, administration, access, ticketing, etc. So all that was planned in this entire uh, space, which was a really contoured site. So from the entry, you go on to the cafeteria and the, and the admin building where you do the ticketing and then you move on to the climb on to the bungee tower. Of course, there will be a lift taking you to the bungee boom area, which is on the 70 meter height. And there is a viewing deck also planned with a nice uh, glass bottom floor, etc. Uh, this is how the entrance of the bungee tower would look like. Um, I think even if you go now... Um, 
on you know search on the internet you can find himalayan bungee that's the tallest one and um, so there are some uh, you know views of how beautifully the entire juxtaposition of the colors and the forms were done of course the mountainous ranges were the inspiration for the facetted structure that we have created our team has really put a lot of effort in understanding the structures around and how we can uh, we can contribute to creating something which is uh, sustainable which is um, merging with the surroundings and also yet creating like an effect for the clients which are uh, these private clients which are associated with the Uttar uttarakhand tourism who can you know uh, also contribute to the tourism to for the uh, city um of course is ticketing booth and cafeteria which is also beautifully designed give an entire experience to the uh, users you know we wanted to make sure that um it's not just any you know you not just jump and then leave uh, the whole experience of coming uh, even you know people who are accompanying you who are not going to jump they also get a good experience of maybe looking at you taking some videos and uh, you know also uh, enjoy the entire experience of the day that you're going to have so the the whole entire design was designed on experience of the users and the uh, people who are accompanying the exact users of the bungee tower um you can see some uh, you know uh, visuals of how we have planned the cafeteria and the administration these are certain plans where uh, you'll be able to see how we have amalgamated the facetted kind of a design from the bungee tower to the cafeteria also now coming to the main bungee tower which i think you all will be interested in um we have a uh, you know like a um like a um, 75 meter tall structure which is sitting on a 25 meter tall, tall hillock so the entire jump length if you see is uh, more than 100 meters it comes to 107 meters the entire jump uh, the bungee corridor which is the main cantilever uh, structure it's around 25 meters and um, at the end of the uh, uh, boom we have um, the entire machinery for pulling and uh, pushing and uh, the the bungee rope is also tied around there and um, above that we have a viewing deck um, for people who are accompanying the jumpers uh, on the ground floor you can see there is a cafeteria again and um, you can see on the left here there is a bungee swing landing area so people actually come over here which is on the third floor and then they are pulled uh, apart away uh, towards the um, a giant swing tower and then uh, you know you can swing so that's the kind of you know the entire mixed use tower that we wanted to create um of course we uh, the initial plan was to have um, uh, dr abhay gupta was thinking of having um uh, other things also but you know this is the, what the final plan was and what we could incorporate these various plans i'm not going to go into detail because Oh, uh, you know, it will take much more time than we have allocated for. But uh, these are some of the brief uh, views and visuals of um, the final space. Um, as as goes with any facility like this, there were a lot of safety parameters that we had to consider. Uh, we had to make sure that the entire radius of when the person jumps, uh, the rope acts like a pendulum. and it goes around all around all uh, you know 360 degrees uh, we had to not only calculate for that but also wind pressure which can contribute to even more deviation so we had to calculate all of that and apart from that there was also one uh, um, booklet that was uh, given to us by um, aj hackett it's it's a bungee jumping um, um, facility like a team which is originated from new zealand and australia so they have uh, trained professionals and they have like all the data collected throughout the years and from their experience they have created a docket which is a minimum requirement for safety so all of that we had to read up and understand that okay you know um, this is not a normal structure we have to make sure that adventure sports um it is our responsibility to make sure the adventure sport that is happening is has all the uh, safety parameters in place so we had to you know even chip down the landing area even more than what we had considered considered and um, make sure that even in a in the toughest of days and even in the most uh, windiest of days there's no damage uh, that that can happen uh, to the user so um all that was you know made sure that we have uh, 
incorporated in their design and of course uh, at the end of the day as architects we have to make sure that the design has to look good the design has to um, give a, give us a sort of different experience so we have uh, you know tried to uh, incorporate all of that um we come to the viewing deck now uh, so this was this is how the boom will look like this is how you uh, you know just go on, go um before just before the jump this is how we will um experience the space of course we, you know to elevate the entire experience we have also given like a, a viewing deck on the upper level has like a, a nice glass bottom floor we have given you know some some of these details we have tried to incorporate to make sure that the viewer um, the user goes and remembers uh, this arena even uh, even after leaving uh, rishikesh so these are some of the construction pictures um of course there were a lot of challenges because shivpuri is not a very big uh, city the roads here coming to the site were quite narrow so there was a lot of permutation and combinations we had to do during construction to understand what what are the prefabrication sizes etc so all that was done by dr gupta's team um here you can see the retaining wall how um how you know there was there were different counterforts designed also and now we are we are supposed to you know work on that also um beautiful beautiful white color structure coming up against the blues and the greens of the background and we could um of course after a lot of permutation and combination we could come to a final uh, design which not only stands out but also um, performs uh, so as to say in more than one ways so uh, that's how it is and uh, currently it is already under operation also so if you are ever in shivpuri or rishikesh please uh, make sure that you do visit and uh, at least check check the space even if you don't end up jumping so yeah that's about it from me i hand it over to dr gupta um of course there's some some construction left uh like some of the roof and some of the landscaping is left once that is finished also it will also add to the beauty so i'm i'm just waiting for that to also happen but yeah the jumps are uh, have already started so you can go and experience it um but yeah i will i will hand it over to dr gupta to explain what the complexities were while designing the structure um thank you so much everyone um yeah dr gupta hand it over to you yeah you can stop sharing thank you very much kushbu there will be um, some queries of the uh, participants while the lecture presentation is over and maybe some of them will be related to architecture also so um, please be with us on the presentation of till course. the end of course yeah. uh, good afternoon friends my dear structural engineers from across the country uh, thank you very much i am structi for giving this platform to me and khushbu Uh, for presenting this wonderful structure this is different than what we routinely do it is tall but not building uh, it's it's open let is structure but not like a communication tower it is much different than that and uh, when we got this opportunity uh, we are in 2023 so it was 2021 december when i was involved into this project from the clients our clients mr ajay chohan mr jagat bhandari mr amit vasan and mr uh, rupesh saklani uh, the group of four people who already run a adventure park facility in uh, shivpuri as khushbu has mentioned and as many many of us know that rishikesh has become adventure sports world capital people go there for ganges holy ganges river people go there for meditation in search of peace and people go there for rafting and other sports activities and people go to rishikesh to further move ahead to badrinath kedarnath and other holy places so rishikesh is a very important place from many angles and all ages people they find their interest in rishikesh i am continuously visiting rishikesh almost 10 12 times or even more than that in last one and a half years i have visited and 
uh, I have seen that vibrant place uh, there and many of these sports facilities. So when the things were discussed with us for the bungee jumping tower, I'll just project my screen now and then we will share sound also. विकास में साउंड शेयर नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ। नो नो सर आप उसपे साउंड पे क्लिक कीजिए प्लीज। वाइल शेयरिंग दी प्रेजेंटेशन ना यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन द साउंड ऑप्शन। हाँ पर वो अच्छा अभी यहाँ पे नहीं आएगा शेयरिंग। स्क्रीन शेयरिंग में आएगा? या या सर वाइल जब आप स्क्रीन शेयर करें। हाँ पर वो नहीं आएगा। वो क्लिक नहीं and this is my presentation. Is it visible? Yes, sir. The first slide showing the announcement poster. Yes. Okay. So, uh, good time to discuss with all of you about this very unique structure. Uh, I can see in the audience, in the participants, my good friends, Dr. S.P. Anchuri. Professor Kal Dr. Kalgal, many other eminent structural engineers, even our clients are there. And many of my association of structural engineers, indoor friends also. JP University Guna team also I could see. And there is a very good wind tunnel at JP University Guna and probably they are looking at some good wind tunnel testing opportunity from this. So, uh, thank you friends for coming together and participating in this presentation. So as I was mentioning that this bungee jumping is a sports or adventure activity which in India was started long back and tallest bungee jumping was in Rishikesh itself towards the Nilkant Mahadev Mandir. It was 83 meter drop from an overhanging boom onto a riverbed by a company called Jumping Heights. Jumping Heights then installed another bungee jumping at Goa also. That was also on a water body. It was a 55 meter high bungee jumping. Subsequent to that, this project was started. Third, being the tallest. How it was tallest, I'll explain you. But as on date, there are six major bungee jump towers in India. There is one in Nathadwara in Udaipur, just in the campus, in the premise of Lord Shiva statue. We worked on that and many of you might be knowing that we did the design of Lord Shiva statue. 351 feet, that is again 107 meter. So what a coincidence that this bungee jump tower also has a jump uh, of 107 meter and Lord Shiva statue is also 107 meter. So somehow this number becoming auspicious, more auspicious. So there is 150 meter high bungee jump in the Lord Shiva statue campus. Then there is one more coming up, one more which has come up near this uh, Himalayan Banji, this project, which is a smaller one, which is less than 50 meter even, by Thrill Factory. Thrill Factory is uh, uh, the one which is in Gurgaon also, Kingdom of Dreams. But there is one more big one coming up near this, but again not taller than this, but that is tall enough recently which is starting. So there are six bungee jumping facilities, major bungee jumping facilities in the country. Out of it, this one, not only the tallest from the viewpoint of drop, but having this 25 meter cantilever boom, which you can see in this image, from where the actual jump takes place. I'll take you through the design and construction aspects with challenges we faced. So when the client came to us for this project, we conceived or we thought that this is a 75 meter or 100 meter tower. They just came that we want a tallest one. So I said, okay, a tower in a steel uh, construction would not be a challenge. We can easily do. Uh, but slowly we realized when the project progressed that it was not that easy. Because any such tower not only requires a design uh, meticulousness, but also fabrication, erection, operation, safety, everything. And one very critical thing is about the geotechnical conditions at the site. Now, since this tower 
is located on the top of a hillock. I'll show you. In general, this is a 75 meter tall tower with a cantilever boom of 27 is the roof, 25 is the base of that boom. At 63 meter floor level, located at a hillock which is 50 meter high from the road level. The main Rishikesh Badrinath Highway. So from there it is 50 meter high hillock. And there is a viewing deck being constructed at the top. So that viewing deck is at 70 meter where people can go enjoy the mm, majestic panoramic view of Ganges and surrounding hills. The sunrise from this location has a fantastic view, sunrise, which comes. I have been staying there many times and then enjoyed the sunrise. Site location opens up to panoramic views. Then uh, site is accessible from National Highway 7, lies at these coordinates. Some of the initial rendered images by Studio Emergence. Actually, how Studio Emergence got into this project? They are based in Mumbai. Project is in Rishikesh. We would have had any good architect from Delhi also. But over my last 4-5 years of experience, while participating and while attending the Steel Structures Metal Building Conferences by MX Business Media, I interacted with Khushbu and Shija. These two young architects, they have done some wonderful structures in steel. And I saw their creativity. The way she was mentioning about parametric design. I was not aware of that. It's a hardcore structural engineer uh, using the software, no doubt. But we never worked on the parametric design. But then they exposed us to the parametric design. And we felt that, yes, this will be a good team to join up to create something different, not simply a tower. So, the entire facility is not only a tower, but surrounding is also being developed. And when any of you will visit this place, you will really enjoy and would like to stay there for at least one night, at least. It is not only going and doing the bungee, but there are many good activities and other means of enjoyment and entertainment and relaxation. So, Kujbo and team created the entire uh, landscape and the tower even the roof, you can see, the roof structures are not plain simple. They have been designed by their parametric uh, concepts and this is how they are being constructed. On the site, as Khushbu has shown in the video, that it's a small, uh, you can say, um, area, the, the platform or the top of the log, which is made. It's not too big. It was only 15 meter by 25 meter space there, which was accessible from road through a narrow, narrow when I say, just one vehicle can go up by taking a zigzag turns and then reaching to the site. So, and the site was quite, um, you can say, fragile deposit. When we inquired from people, they said, this is here since last 50 years and we haven't seen much of degradation. We were a bit confused, but we employed one of the best geotechnical agencies in the country, Sengers Geotechnica. Many of us might be aware of their name. Sengers are very knowledgeable, methodical people who will really do good for the soil investigation and provide you such data and results that the structural engineer's task really become simpler and we get a confident design. So, as per geotechnical report, during monsoon, some soil erosion or denuding of vegetation could occur. To stabilize the hill slope on the downhill side, soil nails or rock anchors are installed. These were proposed by them and we did a lot of stabilization. If I show you the uh, soil report, this is the part of the soil report from Sengers where assessment of slope stability has been done. This is almost a 45 degree hillock from the top where the tower foundation was to come to the bottom where the landing point is going to be there. So proper drainage pl planning, slope protection measures and then how, what kind of anchors to be used and then what foundation construction is suggested, depth and all that. So all these things were suggested by them.
So based on their advice, we decided to put a big a block of the foundation supporting all the vertical columns of the tower. Now, the space available was only this much. If you see this tower, it was existing which we removed and this is the area because from here onwards there is a slope. This is going down here. So this is the only area available for foundation of the tower. When it we if we try to make it rectangle like this, a boom in this direction of 25 meter, this rectangular shape will not help us much. So we did a bit of rectangle. It was 12 meter by 14 meter foundation block here at 4 meter depth. And then this thing. So this video you have already seen that. How, what was the side? On the back side, you see again there is a cut in the earth, the hill, and then it goes up beyond to the plot boundaries, whatever is the land of the owner. So, this is the place. Uh, the area represents a highly rugged topography characterized by moderate to steep slopes that are intervened by narrow valleys. Based on geotechnical report, the site consists of an overburden of course to fine sand intermixed with rock fragments. They were met at site up to 7.5 meter depth. So, there were mixed boulder and um, uh, sand and um, soil mixed. And we had to lay the foundation at that depth only. Below this completely to moderately weathered and very weak to weak purple and grey shell was met at site. So with all those data, we uh, though we did the exploration up to 25 meter, but we decided to lay the foundations uh, at 4 meters only. So this was the geotechnical challenge which was the foundation challenge. Another was now the geometric challenge. What should be the geometry? As I told you, that only limited space was there. So on a 12 by 14 block, we could plan a 9 meter by 9 meter tower only, not bigger than that. And 70 meter, 73 meter high tower. Yeah. Though a bigger footprint would have helped us. But this was a challenge. We decided to work with that, with the boom cantilevering in the other direction. As per seismic map of India, this area lies in zone 4, close to zone 5. So it is highly vulnerable from the earthquake point of view. When the speed 180 km per hour, the hillock, this was another challenge. We used IS code data only. No site specific study was conducted. Not required. Because generally, the life of these structures <coughs> planned was just uh, like 25 years because in 25 years, there will be a lot of changes and maybe that replacement or in the adventure sports, many developments take place. So many things will change. I'm not saying that after 25 years, we'll demolish, but maybe modifications, relocations, additions, something will happen <laughs> there. So for that, we have designed. Uh, even as such population at a time on this entire tower is not more than 20 people together, everybody, all the staff and everything. So open latest structure was chosen to reduce the wind forces. There was the geometry we have decided. It was a prismatic rectangle, uh, square geometry and the boom also was uh, like that only. You can see a view on the right side standing from the landing point taking a view up. So very elegant tower it looks. Um, you can see a small projection here. One side. This is on the other side also it has been made. This is for the another adventure sports activity which is giant swing as Kuzubu has, Kuzubu has mentioned that it's a pendulum kind of structure where maximum three people can swing. We have done a lot of but those jhulas are only 5-6 meters, 10 meters maximum.
this will be a, this is now a 50 meter long giant swing it is operational and it's an amazing thrill and excitement site is located in hillock and the passage was quite narrow so these were the erection challenges we decided that entire tower to be fabricated uh, somewhere else outside off site fabrication and from there we will transport the components but we did a mistake uh, we conceived that we will make 3 meter by 3 meter pieces because in 9 meter by 9 meter plan there were 4 columns on each side at 3 meter center to center so in all 16 columns were there vertical main columns so we thought we can make 3 meter by 3 meter by 9 meter pieces and transport them on trailer from a factory in Hardwar to site in India you cannot transport a 3 by 3 by 9 meter unless and until you make very special arrangements which were extremely costly almost 10 times the cost so we discarded that and then we fabricated piecewise so our connections increased our time increased and then another challenge was to bring every component from road level to the site each component weighing something like 75 kg, 100 kg, 150 kg, but Hydra used to pick each component one by one and about that travel must be around say 150 meters, but going uphill, 150 to 200 meters going uphill. And then we used to bring all the components, the, the erector used to bring all the components near the tower and assemble. So this was the erection challenge. But the space around tower was so constrained that we cannot move cranes there. So we had to install one big crane, huge crane brought from outside for the erection period and then did. So there was another expenditure, another time consuming, but another lesson for us. But fortunately, it all happened very well with some more time and some more cost. We used uh, ETAP software for analysis. You can see the, this is the typical section of tower. You can see at the bottom, this is the foundation block, raft, pedestals. I'll talk about these stone retaining walls and all that. On the back side, there's another stone wall and then hillock going up. And then here, this is the boom. Uh, I think Vidhika, this is visible properly. Vikra? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. So here is the boom cantering out with a knee brace support. On the back side, we also projected a little bit to create a room, store room for keeping all the accessories, equipments, and everything. And here is the viewing deck on the top where people go. Enjoy, sit down, relax, have a coffee, and all that. To make the stability of the entire slope, the car, we used these retaining walls, stone walls at two levels. But major one was this counterfeit RCC wall of nine and a half meter. <coughs> at the bottom this is retaining this entire earth. and here is the landing point at this landing point a water body kind of thing is now going to be created so that with additional attraction for the people who are jumping this is the giant swing platform level so at the giant swing platform level which is lower level here, there are projections on both the sides. This is the tower in the middle, 9 by 9 meter. From where is a projected platform here and on the other side. So on both sides, there are two more activities. On one side is giant swing. Other side, there is another adventure activity. I will not disclose. Let the client do that. This is my bungee boom platform. Again, 9 by 9 tower. Projecting room beyond, 
two sides projecting arms for other activities and this is my 25 meter platform for the bungee. So people walk from here to here. They are then prepared with the harness and all the safety devices and then they jump from this side. One side, not from the front. Jumping from side. Okay. Connection details are there. Those of us who are into the structural engineering, they all know the details of this kind. But we did all the entire circular sections and their connections. Uh, why, why circular? Somebody may say that circular connections are complicated. But I'll come to that. Analysis and design done in the ETEPS 3D space frame. <clears throat> Support reactions extracted and safe as we use the standard practice. Based on the recommendations, a raft at 4 meter. You can see on the right side picture, pedestals with the bolts casted for the <clears throat> each tower. IDI Statica is a software for connection design which has been used. Uh, very standard things. <laughs> Here is the important aspect of structural design. During initial phase of designing, we thought rectangular hollow sections and square hollow sections of high steel, high strength steel, 345 MPA should be good. Why RHS and SHS? Because their fabrication is easy, they're comfortable, their connectivities are comfortable, and we did that. But since impact of wind force on flat surface was predominating more, overall tonnage of structure increased. So when we finalized the entire design, we realized that it is touching 300 metric tons and to our client initially we committed a less value we realized that we are doing something wrong here then I went into details of the wind forces and all that because predominantly it was wind and then changed rectangular RHS and SHS to CHS circular hollow sections it significantly reduced the wind force on the entire tower. Vertical tower as well as the cantilever boom and our tonnage significantly reduced with a little bit of increase in the efforts of the connection design and fabrication. But it came down to two-third, doso ton tower weight with the use of CHS. All material is used from Tata Steel. Our clients made it very particular that no compromise on quality of material or workmanship. And that is why they had us an studio emergence as well. So that was that is their vision. Uh, boom has a tendency to swing horizontally because it is cantilevering out and there is no lateral support. So it has a tendency to move horizontally in the wind. So there is a huge torsion on the entire structure. Uh, there is no way we can arrest that torsion or we can avoid that torsion, mitigate, but we had to design for that. So the entire structure has been designed for a torsion or the moment and shear generated due to the wind on the projecting boom. We did that. But just a little bit of additional safety, we tied the cantilever boom at 18 meter distance out of 25, 18 meter with the two wire ropes, I'll show you those wire ropes also. Uh, just to counter the effect of the vertical deflection. Additional safety against overturning of the structure was added by adding two wire ropes opposing the boom. You can see these two wire ropes. Actually, we analyzed as standalone without using these wire ropes. This is safe, stable from all the parameters and the provisions of the code without these two wire ropes. But our clients were also mm, uh, insisting that we should use the wire rope on the back side. So we have additionally installed two wire ropes there. Uh -huh. Each wire rope is double 2 into 20 mm each side. That means whatever is the force by putting them, uh, we have used one 100% safety margin. In wire ropes, it is good to have 100% safety margin. Connections, all the base plate connections, um, 
plates are 345 MPa. Bolts used in the base are 8.8 .8 grid MS bolts. Nowadays, though 10.9 is also available, but rather than 4.6, uh, sorry, connection bolts 8.8. .8. Uh, base anchor bolts are 4.6 only. Black. While the all connections are height and size 8.8. .8. All galvanized rather than using the MS black. All galvanized from the viewpoint of longevity. The entire tower has been painted with epoxy paint uh, so that there is a durability and also the look wise aesthetic is also good. With all these now the tower is operational since April this year. April to October now. Almost six months are there. And people are crazy. Right from the young age to the old age people. I have seen uh, 16 years to 60 year people taking this jump and enjoying it. You can check their Instagram page Himalayan Banji and you can see many crazy people jumping there. Why people are coming? Very important point is operation and safety. So entire system of operations have been established by well-known Banji master from UK, Mr. Oliver Haddon. He is currently Director of Operations at Himalayan Banji Shivpuri Rishikesh. has more than 20 years of experience in setting up and running several Banji facilities across the world. If you Google Oliver Haddon Banji, you will find uh, many details about him. All the safety norms and standards as per international practices are implemented and guidelines are framed. Though in India, as I mentioned, there is no guideline as of now, but Uttarakhand government is consulting uh, our client and Mr. Oliver Hedden for forming for framing a, a system of guidelines. The entire Himalayan Banji operations are fully monitored and executed under his physical presence at Shivpuri. So if you go there, you can personally meet Oliver Hedden. Oli. So Oli is there, which ensures zero risk for users. This is the Instagram or the, their logo Himalayan Banji. And these are the people behind. If you see, the left top is the photograph taken on first visit before start of the project. So you can see all four clients, myself, Kushbu, Kushbu's partner, Shija. And in the middle, the tall guy is Dr. Ajay Chaurasya from CBRI Rurki. He had been advising us on this project <coughs> regularly. And thank you, Dr. Ajay Chaurasya. In the middle photo, you can see he is Oli. Oliver Adan is here. Myself, Ajay Chaurasya and Mr. Jagat Bandari. And then again the team. And here I am sitting on the top when the construction was almost getting complete. So at the 70 meter level. Some of the videos, I am not sure sound aegi or not aegi. साउंड थी क्या आवाज आ रही थी वीडियो की या सर सर लो थी हां आवाज आ रही थी मे बी सर मैं सुन नहीं पाया सॉरी अच्छा एनीबॉडी एल्स हु कैन गिव अ फीडबैक खुशबू अभी नाउ द थर्ड वीडियो वेयर प्रमोटर हिमसेल्फ इज टेकिंग अ जंप He is Mr. Amit Vasan. The team involved, client is Banji in Rishikesh. He did the design, architect studio emergence, fabrication by HMPL, steel is from Tata, geotechnical investigation by Sengers. So this is the entire crew on the right side when the tower was almost complete. People who are they are uh, helping all of us to do the jump and then this. So thank you very much. This photo on the right side is when the operations started from for 107 meter. And if there is anything I can address, 
I'm otherwise available at these uh, coordinates here. So this is about this project. And I invite you all to be there, enjoy the thrill. And if any, anything we can provide on the information, naturally, other than the discount, I'm happy to share. <laughs> offer that because that is something in the prerogative of the client but certainly if you go there let me know and enjoy the place thank you very much uh, uh thank, thank you dr uh, gupta and madam uh, any questions uh, uh, Um, Dr. Anchuri is asking the cantilever shown in the slide and the picture show letter has variation. No, it is same. Dr. Anchuri in the slide that was in an architectural perspective, maybe you are seeing the roof also. That roof is still under construction. That is the only change. Otherwise, since beginning, it is the same concept. Uh, there is one from Prasha. Prashant, idea statica which you used was with Indian code? Yeah, yeah, with Indian code, certainly. Haan, no sound. I mean, it was video mein sound in the video. You can log on to their Instagram uh, page and you will see many good videos with a lot of sound and all that. We took it as old as But yeah. first time, who dared to jump? The promoter themselves. All the four, out of four, there are two promoters, they jumped first. But there is a test crew also. On any such facility, even Mr. Oli had an himself and the crew people, they take the jump. Uh, as far as commercial jump, I don't I have that information. Kujbu, you know what? Who was commercial jump? First commercial jump, but uh, there ha the, so there is a whole process of how this happens. First, there are different bags. There are bags of potatoes and bags of sack of, uh, you know, heavy objects, which are first thrown no, to check. So there is full uh, uh, safety yes. precautions taken. And there are different ropes for different weights also. So there is yes, like a very complex point. process, a detailed process, which goes on before any jump happens. So um, the safety precautions are of international standards. If you, if you look at the jump, when you jump, then you go down and then you three times you come up. So, depending on your weight, there is a chart and there are um, different color ropes are there. So, those ropes, they stretch either two times or three times or four times their original length. So, depending on your weight, we will use the appropriate rope after taking all the parameters and then decide and then only that particular rope. So, right from people from... 40 means uh, lower weight to up to maximum limit is 100 kg people can jump and at other places they restrict when i went to goa they did not allow me to jump no 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 you are 55 but here they do not restrict they check you thoroughly medically and all that and then uh, allow so my number is next in my next visit i will be jumping and khushbu bhi aayengi jaldi se <laughs> so nice Uh, any other question, please? Uh, Whatever are there on the chat box, I have. How is the slenderness ratio maintained? Simple open lattice structure. We use the cross bracings for the lateral resistance and also our member length was only 3 meter. We had a pie at every 3 meter. If you can see the, the structure, it was very robust. Uh, in plan also 3 meter by 3 meter grid and vertically also 3 meter spacing. So there is no issue of slenderness. Pipe sizes are very heavy. The, the, the biggest one is 323 mm dia. The smallest in the bracing is 110, but otherwise uh, 200 and, uh, 203 mm is the minimum one. How much is the deflection at free end of cantilever? Uh, good question. I did initially... In my analysis, it was coming out to be 52, 52, I don't remember the exact number, but it was something like 52 or 65, Sunil. And then we, when we attached those two wire ropes, it reduced to some 20, 20, 25 mm. Uh, Ambrish is asking total quantity of steel. 
including everything means staircase railing intermediate floor platform this that it was 300 tons any criteria of base and height ratio for it no nothing they wanted a bigger one is it okay you know me that challenge is if something is doable we can certainly do and for that we just need to be rational technically and logical on all our things and we checked all the safety parameters of the structural engineering with the help of our all the associates so there is no criteria if you say taller than that somebody approached me they want to make taller but if here the space was restricted space jada hoti to humne shayad itna nahi kiya hota it was 9 by 70 so it is 1 is to 8 i would have restricted to 1 is to 6 kind of thing but you have provided stay cables only on one side would it help if cables are provided on the other side too uh, we have provided cables only opposite to the cantilever boom where it was required because the entire eccentricity was on, on the other side so overturning and even the hill of slope is there so overturning if at all is on that side only so opposite to that we provided the uh, wire holes there is no use of on the other side Uh, thank you, Achanisha bhi hai, okay, Ravindra Golia. Thank you everybody. What type of coatings are used for protection? We have used entire epoxy paint, uh, Dr. Anjuni. So, epoxy paint has got good life completely, not the normal paint. Uh, Dr. Abhay, can I ask something? Sir, sir, please, please. Uh, see, what is the mechanism of structural uh, monitoring? Uh, have you put some sensors? Or just uh, I mean, uh, not no no, no. Uh, we, we didn't we didn't but what you're saying is correct in such projects we should we will suggest to the client mm -hmm. we'll suggest to the client. Yes, sector uh, life is say 30 years 40 years or 50 years and because so many forces are coming and then yes and then it's in the inside that slide drainage problem this and that and then Heavy rains, landslide, cloud yes. burst. Heavy rain. So, Even this year, rain has puzzled us much. But we have instructed client to take care of few things. One of them is tightening of bolts at all the joints at six months interval initially, and then annual checkup. That we have mm -hmm. specifically recommended. Mm -hmm. that all the bolts should be checked and tightened once in a year. Paint to be checked five years. Mm -hmm. A surrounding area, no water ponding should be there on that entire hillock also has been protected properly. So these mm -hmm. are some of the measures we have taken. Mm -hmm. Prashant uh, is asking, what if the person weight is 103? Reduce 8 kilograms, make it 95 and go there, have a jump, be happy, you will again become 100. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, Mohammed Mahatab asking very informative. I am expecting some more details about the wind analysis. And say, uh, routine, like wind, there was a challenge I explained you. We changed from RHS to CHS, but we use standard Indian code coefficients only. Um, that's all. If you have any specific thing, you can certainly write to me. Shiva Krishna, sir, by what factor did the wind force reduce by employing? Significantly, they were almost half overall because my drag force reduced from 1.2 to 0.7 kind of and um, exposed area also reduced. So, it was almost half. What about vibration analysis? Oh, sorry, we didn't do that. Um, but you are very correct. When we stand there, when a person jumps, even when the giant swing swings, there are vibrations. We just did the dynamic analysis, but we did not do the vibration analysis there. Software used for the design of connections associated with the structure. Yes, idea is static. Is the tower earthquake resistant? Yes, 100%. As per the current recommendations. What are the SBC at 4 meter? 35 tons per meter square. Reasons to cho choose block foundation, walnut pipe. I told you, na, the deposit was boulders with soil and that. So, piling cannot be done. 
in that pile cannot be done. So block foundation was the best solution. And why we went to 4 meter? Just to achieve a uh, safety factor against the overturning of more than the recommended in the code. It was more than 2, uh, I think 3.75 or something we have. What was the governing combination of loads? Wind plus uh, self weight on. It was primarily dead plus wind. Uh, no more messages here no more on the chat. Uh, so. no, I, I will ask for something. Uh, ah, yes, sir. Please, please. Uh, see this uh, the dynamic analysis. What is the maximum response uh, at, at what level you could get and whether it, uh, it was within the limit? As per your dynamic Pardon, analysis, sir? what is the maximum response you get at which place and then uh, it must be within the safe limits? The critical thing was the vertical uh, oscillation of the boom itself. Mm -hmm. Tower was behaving quite rigid. Mm -hmm. Ratio 1 is to 8 was and totally cross braced, totally braced tower. So it was quite a rigid structure. Even its natural period of oscillation was not much. I don't remember that number, but I mm -hmm. can share it. I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll prepare an article and send for publication in the SCD with mm -hmm. all those data. Right. Uh, so uh, we did the, the, the critical portion was the boom itself, where mm -hmm. maximum response was there. Mm -hmm. Why we choose e tabs for the analysis? Uh, nothing is specific. We could have gone for a stat also. Dr. Gupta ji, Namaste. I didn't notice you. Good evening, sir. sir no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. It's a very good, very good lecture. Uh, Professor, uh, Professor Pradeep, one thing that I would request you to send a, uh, uh, I mean, certificate uh, to Dr. Gupta and this lady for uh, sure, sure. Uh, sharing their knowledge. Thank you very much. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, Dr. Ava Gupta, I, I have one question. Yeah, Sir. did you uh, measure the sway? Actually, I have witnessed this uh, bungee jump, though I did not yes. take the jump. I, I forgot uh, to mention, uh, Dr. Pradeep Kumar, Director CBRI, has also visited the place and um, appreciated the designs. Thank you, sir. Hello. Yeah, so sway, uh, did you measure the sway? We measured the sway in the actual operation condition. Hello? Hello? Maybe, uh, sir. Yeah, sir. Internet problem. Maybe. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Hello? Yeah. You, you are asking about measurement Hello? of stay in the running condition? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, once we measure... Though I could feel a little sway. Huh. Yes. I also felt sway during one of my visits and we tried to measure um, not very regularly, but that was that was significant more than uh, 100 mm on either side in the uh, boom. Tower itself was not swaying that much, but I think yes, good idea to at least uh, put some device where we can measure it. Uh, Dr. Pradeep ki awaaz nahi hai shad internet unka connect nahi ho raha hai then uh, uh, all the uh, any questions uh, from the participants uh, i think all questions uh, uh, dr gupta all questions were uh, yeah or thrown on uh, dr gupta if there's any question architecture related also i would be happy to answer Mm -hmm. uh, so now in the end, I would there say feedback. There was one feedback, Khushbu, from Professor Ashok Jain, former mm -hmm. Professor I D mm -hmm. that you could have made this tower more elegant looking, means aesthetically better shape rather than this uh, very routine. So <laughs> that is very. You... <laughs> we we also had thought of uh, optimizing uh, the structure. 
and uh, but then somehow somehow uh, that didn't work out due to various parameters and constraints of course economics is also always a constraint so uh, we didn't want to you know uh, get into something different but yeah maybe next time dr abhay gupta or anyone in the panel if we want to do something we can optimize the shape of the tower also we can optimize the shape of the building to make it more aesthetically pleasing but we're keeping the parameters of uh, something like wind analysis and uh, Uh, we can use uh, different softwares to even create um, slender buildings, for example, uh, to make sure it is optimized. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we we can we can do that also with uh, in the future maybe. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you, Madam Kushbu and Dr. Abhay Gupta, for sharing your knowledge and experience. It was really a wonderful uh, presentation. and then uh, we'll keep warning you uh, for the benefit thank you. of all thank you for also. inviting us and giving this opportunity to share our project with a wonderful community so thank that, you that, 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 thank you once again and then now uh, for the uh, participants the next lecture will be by alok bobik on 23 november on a, again a good topic so this thing will continue Uh, so please uh, i mean uh, you can make a note to your diary that the next lecture like this would be on 23 november again at 5 pm so thank you for sharing your knowledge and thank the participants to listen a useful talk by the two good speakers ha uh, vikas aap ye question share kar lena yes jo question share kar lena Okay. Some of, some more questions are there. I could read later. So maybe we'll try to address them in the uh, article which I'll write. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so Thank much, Doctor Davan. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Abhay Gupta. Thank you, Doctor Doctor Miss Kushbu. Yes.